Dice Games. Hey guys, Matt here, and this is Zelda Breath of the Wild Champion's Ballad DLC. This is a guide for all the hidden treasures, other than the ones that I already covered in my other videos, the horse armor and the guard uniform. But this is all the ones in the Dea Village ruins. So there's uh, six total, but there's only four locations, because three are in the same location. And we're going to get attacked by a stone talus on the way here. But then we got to find this book over here. And let's go. So there's six priceless relics. The Traveling Merchant's Hood is in the right hand of the dragon that consumes the Spring of Courage at Dracoza Lake. Dracozu Lake. So yeah, we're gonna go right here to the Spring of Courage, Shay Katha Shrine. And right here we're right inside the dragon, so the opening up ahead there is the mouth, so we go over here to the right to get to his right hand. And just make our way around the hand over here. And as usual, we're gonna use a little magnesis. And you can see it a little bit up there, so we just climb up. Grab it and yank it out. All right, open the chest and we got Ravio Ravio's hood. However you pronounce that, not very good. But these are pretty much all like kind of novelty things. I think two armor on that one. But let's go ahead and put it on, just for the heck of it. Looking sweet. Now the next one. The blue garb of the hero who controlled the wind and traveled the ocean is where the Minoet River was born. So come down here, the Minoet River, and we're going to travel to this lake tower, and where it was born is the beginning of the river, so you can see I marked it on the map there, so just fly down to here, get a little bit lower, land on one of these rocks here, and it's going to be at the very start of the river, which is right up there. But as you can see, you can't really reach it from this rock, so you're going to have to find a way to get up here, try to reach it. Let's see. Um, can't even reach it from there. So we're going to have to use ice. The little ice platform there. And now we can reach it. So let's pull it out of there, and we'll just whip it over, and probably could have put it on the ice, but I put it on the platform over here, so we'll put it there and then swim over and get it. And open up the chest, and we get the Island Lobster Shirt. That's from Wind Waker, and that one only has one defense, but it has heat resistance. So we'll go ahead and put that one on. Sweet. And on to the next one. The helm of the self-proclaimed King of Shadows is in the swamp of the Valley of Dead Trees south of Dueling Peaks. So Dueling Peaks is right here. We're going to teleport here and just go straight south of it. Shivanir Shrine. And so let's see. Going straight down where that chest is down there. And we're just going to do a little gliding again. And once we get closer, you should be able to just land on a little island down there. Alright, so there's a couple islands. We're going to land on this close one here. And it's on that next one out. Probably could have landed on that next one out, but you can see it there. Just jump over. Oh, wait, you can't swim here. <laughs> so once again, we're going to have to use some ice. But like I said, you could have just landed on that island. Now let's pull it out of the ground. And we got... Zant's helmet. Unfreezable. And it's one better than the other hat I got already, so... Let's try that on. Looking pretty cool. And next we have three armor pieces that are in the fair and sea of trees and the first one is at the highest of three waterfalls north of Lake Floria so here's Lake Floria let's go ahead and teleport here and this is gonna put us underneath the waterfall 
So what we're going to have to do here is put on some Zora armor, which I'm embarrassed to say I only have the tunic, just the armor part. I don't know where the like the headgear and boots are, but let's swim up this waterfall. And when we get to the top here, I was kind of confused by this one because it was like the or the highest of three. So I was like, this is the highest like right here, but actually it's over here on the left. So this is Lake Floria, it's one, two, three. So it's that one, the highest of that one. So let's fly over there. And then again, it's kind of confusing because we get over here, get to the highest part of this, but it's just, this is the highest waterfall. And then we got to go down. So if you look down here, you might think that's one, but that's just a block. So let's glide down, land on the ground below. And there it is. So yoink it out of there. Oh, almost get shot at. And Phantom Ganon Skull. All right. Put it on, see what it looks like. And it's looking pretty cool. And the next one is at the bridge between small waterfalls over Floria River. And now looking at the map here, if we go over to the left, this is the Floria River, so there's the two waterfalls with the bridge in between them. So let's teleport to the Farron Tower. And from the Farron Tower, we just gotta fly in that direction. It's pretty much straight to the west. And we use Revali's Gale so I can get a bigger flight path. And just gonna fly for a bit until we get there. All right, now basically land right next to the waterfall, or the bridge rather, between the waterfalls, and there it is underneath the bridge. So let's pull it out and place it right next to us. And in this chest we get the Phantom Ganon armor. Try it on, and Looking pretty good with that six pack. All right, and then the last one is at the Broken Stone Bird of Ibarra Forest. So there's Ibarra Forest. We're gonna teleport to this shrine. And I think this one again, oh no, not quite. I was gonna say you can see the chest on the mini map, but you just have to kind of go a little bit southwest. Just gonna fly down this time. I don't think we need Rivali's Gale. Oh, I used it anyways though. <laughs> we'll fly over there. Basically going right along the curve of that path there. Land down here, and if you look to your right, you got a bird statue, a bird statue, and a broken one. So, Magnesis right underneath it, and there we go. Pull out that last chest, open it up, and Phantom Ganon's Greaves which also gives stealth up. So put on the full armor set and now we're Phantom Ganon. And there you have it. Deece.